Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're actually updating our how to set up ADB USB drivers for Android devices procedure. Um, a lot of things have changed when setting up ADB, so we figured we'd update this and make it a little bit easier for everybody. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to download the Android SDK. So we're going to click on that link there. And then we're going to click on the EXE version and wait for that to install. Okay, so once that downloads, we're going to click it, hit yes, hit next, uh, and then it's going to tell us that it needs the software developer kit for Java. So we're going to click on that thing in the middle there. And then the JDK, or the Java developer kit, is right here. So we're going to click download. And then we want the JDK for our version of Windows. So either Windows 64 bit or Windows 32 bit, which is x86. So you need to download the one directly for yours. So for me, I'm using a 64 bit. Hit accept and then click on the 64-bit Windows one. Hit save. And wait for that to download. Okay, so once that's downloaded, we're gonna click run. And then follow the steps. Just keep hitting next, basically. until it installs. Okay, and then once that's done, it'll say setup complete, hit close, and close that. We can hit back on our Android SDK setup, hit next again. Now it should say that it found it. Hit next, uh, and we're gonna change this in here because it's just very long. Delete everything inside here between that and that. So it just shows C, colon slash android hyphen SDK and hit next then hit install and wait for it to finish. Okay, once the SDK manager is up, we're going to check off a few things. We want the tools folder, so that means everything inside the tools folder, the SDK tools, the SDK platform tools. Um, it should automatically have checked the latest version of Android, so in this case it's 4.0. Um, but whatever the latest version is, just check that and everything inside of it. You don't need to check any of these ones beneath that. We're just going to go down uh, and scroll all the way down to the very bottom and make sure that Google USB driver package is also checked. So there should be a total of about eight packages, but depending on what version of Android you're looking at when you do this. Uh, so just make sure those are checked. Then we're going to hit install eight packages. Uh, hit accept all and then hit install. Uh, and wait for it to install all these things. Eventually, the Android SDK will say done loading packages. So we can hit close, and then we can actually close the Android SDK. Okay, now on your Android device, you're going to go into the settings And then if you're using uh, most Android devices, it's going to be applications in here, then development, then USB debugging, and we're going to check that on. Now, on ice cream sandwich devices, you go all the way down to the bottom, it's developer options, then USB debugging on. Once you've done that, we can then plug in our device to our computer via USB. Do not mount the storage, just leave it plugged in like that. Okay, with the device plugged in, uh, it should have automatically started downloading drivers, etc. So we're going to check to make sure everything worked by opening our Windows Explorer, then clicking on our C drive, then our Android SDK we downloaded, etc. Then platform tools. Now inside here, in any blank area, like down here for instance, we're going to hold shift on our keyboard and then right click. And that should give us 
our normal right click settings, but also you'll see open command window here now that normally isn't there. We're gonna click that and that'll bring us a command window that already has this path in it. Uh, so we can start using programs inside here like ADB for example. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see if ADB can see our device. So we're gonna type the words or the letters ADB space devices and hit enter. If a serial number comes up like this one, then you're all set. ADB is set up, you have the drivers that you need, uh, and you can just continue from here with whatever you need ADB for. Now if a driver or a serial number does not show up here, you just says list of devices attached and it's blank, then there are a few things we can do to kind of force it to find our uh, USB drivers. So that's what we'll do next. Okay, so there are two ways we can manually install these drivers um, if it didn't automatically install it and we weren't fortunate enough to have, to have that work. One of the ways, and uh, the way I like the best, is using a program called PDANet. PDA Net. So now normally this program is used to wire, tether your phone, uh, the internet from your phone to your computer, but it also can be used to install ADB drivers kind of forcibly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this link here and you're gonna download the latest version of PDANet. Uh, then once that's completely installed, uh, you're going to unplug your device, plug it back in, and then we're going to go back up to step number eight, uh, and then basically just type ADB devices again into the command prompt and see if that works. Uh, if the serial number comes up then, then we're good. Now if that still doesn't work, you can go down to the next step, which is to basically manually install the drivers. So you're going to look for your device's drivers here, um, or Google them and see if you can find them yourself. Then you're going to go to Device Manager, you're gonna click on, you're gonna look for your device, your phone. So I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so in your control panel, you can just type device manager. And then look for your, so we're gonna click on that. And then here we are. Now we can hit update driver software. Then you're gonna click browse my computer for driver software. And then you're gonna basically browse to wherever the USB driver is that you downloaded earlier from either this section or from Googling. Wait for that to completely install, then unplug your device, plug it back in, and again, try ADB devices in command prompt. And hopefully by that time, it should have worked for you. Uh, and you should be all set. So there you go.